Hi everyone, this is Anna, one of your consumer technology specialists at Midcontinent Public Library. Today we are going to take a look at how we can set up a feature to find our Android device if it gets lost. If you're using an Android device, you probably have set up a Google account to use with the App Store and other features of your device. This is something that you're going to be using to help find your device. So the first thing we actually need to do is download the Google Find My Device app. So it's not necessarily pre-installed on your device. You will have to go to the App Store. So I'm going to tap on the Play Store icon on my home screen. And here I'm going to use my search box and type in Find My Device and tap the spyglass icon to search. And it is Google Find My Device that I'm looking for. So I'll just tap install. And once we get it installed, I could open it right from here, but I am just going to go back to my home screen so we can see where it lives. So I am going to swipe up to see all of my apps on my device. And I can see at the bottom, Find My Device has been added to this list. So I'll just tap that to get it open. And I am actually going to sign in to the app as Matilda. So once I get signed in, I land on this page. And this is really where I can keep track of if I have multiple devices. So right now, I just have one device that is listed. And it does tell me that the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite is this device. I can tap on it to get a little more information um, so I know where it came from. If I wanted to change the device name, I could do that here. I would just tap the pencil to the right of my device name, and then I could give it a new name. And this may be helpful if you have multiple devices, or maybe you are a family and you're trying to keep track of multiple people's devices. You could add their name to the device name to kind of differentiate. And really, that's all we see on this app. Now, we're going to go back to our home screen, and we're going to go to Settings. And from settings, we need to make sure that our location settings are turned on. So I'm going to scroll down on my left side menu until I find location. And my location settings are turned on, but they do have a toggle button if I needed to turn them off or on. And then if I tap app permissions, this is going to allow me to give specific permissions to specific apps. So I'm tapping find my device on that list. And then location access for this app. I have choices to allow only while using the app, ask every time, or don't allow. I'm gonna go ahead and tap ask every time because this will allow it to use my precise location, which I will need to have turned on in order to be able to locate a lost device. So we need to make sure that is on. So I only have it turned on right now for this specific app. So we're actually going to then tap see all find my device permissions and then permissions, I can see that I do have notifications turned on, locations turned on, 
I haven't given any contacts permission to access this information. You might do that if you are sharing the find my features with family or friends. That would be how you would connect with them. So next we are going to look under security on our left side menu, which is just directly above location actually. And I do just want to point out that there is an option for find my mobile. So this is actually because my device is a Samsung, I have the option to turn on a Samsung specific find my device. This is an option that if you have a Samsung device, you might have, but otherwise the Google find my device is going to be more universal for all Android devices. So Samsung is just one brand. Android encompasses many, many brands. So once I have made sure that I have my location settings turned on, then I can, from a different device, so I'm going to be doing this on the computer, I can go to the website is android.com slash find. And when I go to that site, I can log in with the same Google account. So I would log into Matilda's account and I would be able to see the list of devices on my account. So I can see there's a Galaxy tab and then I can also have the device play a sound. And this can be helpful if like you're pretty sure you lost your device somewhere in your house. It can make it play a sound so that you can try to follow the sound to find it. And it does say that it will make the device ring even if it is set to silent. So that is a good thing to know. There are also options to lock the device and sign out of your Google account. So this is something you may wanna do if you have lost your device and can't immediately go back to where you think you lost it or if you think you lost it in, in a public place, you could do this and then you would lock the device so no one else could use it and it would display a message, something like, if found, return to, and then you could put whatever. But it would keep people from being able to use your device and use your accounts. And then from here, from this web page, you can erase your device and you will have to put your login information in so it can make sure that you are you. But then you would be able to erase your device without having the device present, which would keep anyone who may find the device or if the device is stolen, it would keep them from being able to access your information and data and all of that. So it is an option, probably your last option you want to use because um, you may be able to restore from a backup if you have a backup, but otherwise erasing the device is not reversible. So you do have all of these options with your Google Find My Device. And with the app that we downloaded, if you have multiple devices, you could track where your devices were from your one specific device with that app. So you would be able to use the app to then track your other devices. That's it for today's video. 
If you liked it, make sure you let us know by following our MCPL 360 page on Facebook and our MCPL MO channel on YouTube. We premiere new videos every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. And if you miss the live event, you can always find all of our videos on YouTube on one of our many technology-related playlists on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you again next time.